In the Bay of Plenty, there are PSA warning signs on just about every orchard gate. In the towns, there are public biosecurity education notices in many of the shop windows. There's just no escaping the threat that is being posed by this bacteria to both the kiwifruit industry and wider community. This week, growers gathered to hear the latest. CESPRI has been holding a series of meetings for growers this week, including this one here in Catty Catty. While we couldn't film inside because the company would be discussing issues involving commercial sensitivity, outside, Kiwi Fruit industry officials made it clear the issue on everybody's lips is PSA. Look, um, they've seen the asset values drop. Those Hort 16A growers are seeing PSA doing enormous damage uh, to their orchards. That creates financial challenges. Yep. It creates, obviously, emotional challenges. Uh, the community out there is under tremendous pressure. You have to be an optimist to be in the horticultural industry. And so the industry is really focused on now, what do we do? How do we manage this going forward? Are there more tolerant cultivars? What tools do we have available to us? But the ever more likely use of one tool is causing a rift in the local community. The kiwi fruit industry is expected to confirm that it will approve a powerful antibiotic, streptomycin, for use in the battle against PSA. While it is already used in the apple industry and by farmers for animal husbandry purposes, its proposed use in the Bay of Plenty is causing a major stink. One local avocado grower told Country 99 TV that his usual beekeeper refused to pollinate his trees this year because his avocado orchard neighbours kiwi fruit ones. Beekeepers fear the antibiotic will get into their honey, shutting down their exports. Further, there is talk circulating among growers in the region that Fonterra has threatened legal action against Zespri if any streptomycin gets into their milk. However, Fonterra say they've conducted risk assessments, which suggest the chances of milk being contaminated are incredibly low. Kiwi Fruit Vine Health General Manager John Burke says the industry is likely to use the antibiotic. The streptomycin issue is a product that's available, that's been put up as available for a spring program. We're evaluating that at the moment because there's obviously some concerns around the stakeholders, including beekeepers, avocado growers. So we're looking at all those concerns and we're going to deal whether or not we use streptomycin in a real responsible fashion because um, it is a big call, but at the same time we know it's very effective to bowl out uh, PSA and we would be using it as a knockdown spray if we, uh, if we roll it out. But we're going through a very robust consultative process before we make that decision. The Italian kiwi fruit industry has been devastated by PSA. Unfortunately for New Zealand, it seems PSA is more suited to our climate than Italy's. From what we're seeing, our weather conditions are more favourable for spread of the disease. So it really remains to be seen and I think sort of a milestone point will be flowering yep. when we can look at our gold and see how, how far has this thing really moved and uh, also look at the green and see what the prognosis is on green. The gold in Tipuki, which represents roughly half the gold in the industry, is under serious threat. John Burke says the industry is aiming to try and find a solution by 2013 and that growers may be forced to ride out the next two years. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.